Hey guys, I've got a quick little tip for you today. We're going to be looking at how to change the DPI on an Android device. Now, I'm doing this on my Nexus 5, and you will need a rooted device. If you don't have root, this just won't work. Now, basically, this is going to allow you to get everything to be a little bit smaller on your device, which in turn will allow you to fit more information on the screen at once, so you can really take advantage of the screen real estate. Right now, I'm running the stock settings, which on the Nexus 5 is actually 480 DPI. Take note of what the apps look like. You can see I have four icons on each row with the Google Now launch. In terms of what explorer to use, it really doesn't matter, just make sure it is a root explorer, otherwise it won't be able to modify the file. I personally use root browser for this, it's very simple and it does the job, but you can also use ES File Explorer as well. Make sure you've given your browser root privileges and also make sure you've mounted the system as read writable, and then you're looking for the system folder, you can see it right there next to my thumb, that's what we need to go into. Scroll down until you see the build prop file, that's the file we're going to be modifying. Make sure you make a backup of this file before modifying it. Copy it to your SD card partition so that if something does go wrong and you get in a boot loop, you can just ADB this file back here and everything should be fine. Now opening up, there's going to be a lot of information, but scroll down and what you're actually looking for is right there, you can see a LCD density currently set to the default of 480. Now the Nexus 5 actually has a PPI of 445 and most of the time with devices the DPI is set to around that number but Google actually set it higher on the Nexus 5 so that everything was a bit larger. Now you could go ahead and set it to 445 so it matches the native PPI of the screen if you like to. Be sure to not go below 300, it will cause problems and to be honest you're just not going to be usable so don't do that. I'm going to set mine to 420, I've been using it for a few days now, I've had no problems and to me it just looks great. So once you've changed it to the number you want go ahead and press save you'll see it takes a little bit of time it grants it root permissions and that's it now all you have to do is reboot your device so let's go ahead and do that right now and when you turn it back on the first thing you'll notice is your home screens are completely messed up so you will have to go ahead and rearrange those we'll just drag them back to the normal location and then you'll notice you'll probably have an extra row so I can put another icon there last time I had only four if you remember now I have five and yeah, everything is now just a little bit smaller and you're going to be able to put more content on your screens, you can put more widgets there, there's just more space to use. And that's going to be across the board as well, so your applications will be able to show more information at once. For example, Twitter will be able to show more tweets on one screen without scrolling. Google Plus will probably be able to show a little bit more of a post instead of scrolling. And I don't know, for me it just looks better, you can put more content on the screen at once, it doesn't have to be quite so big, the icons are smaller as well. If you think the text is a little bit small, you can actually make it larger just by going into the font size and making it large. All the text is going to be bigger now and that does include your applications as well, so again if we try Twitter we'll just close it out of the recent so it refreshes and we'll open it back up again you should see that the text is now larger so if you struggled reading the smaller text you can make it bigger if you want although I actually like the smaller text once you use it for a while you get used to it and then you just start to really like it so I'm gonna change that back to normal but it's completely up to you that's just your preference so yeah you can make this a little bit smaller if you want I've actually seen some people use the DPI of 380 and they've been loving it so it really is kind of a personal preference choice. A lot of people use 445 as well, but I just prefer 420. So it's a very easy tweak, guys. If you do want to go back to the defaults, it's as simple as you're changing that number back to 480 and it'll all be back to normal. So yeah, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Peace out.